Okay, what is a method in C sharp? And we've kind of already jumped to this a little bit. Um, but when somebody's asking these questions, they're kind of wanting to know, like a class. What is a class? I mean, a little bit of review. Class is definitely uh, something that's being reused. There's one car in the whole world. Um, an object is those instantiations of a class or what's in what I mean to explain real quick of an instantiation is it's just a instantiation is when we take creating we take the blueprint mm -hmm. that is in this case is car the yep. class and we create the object in memory so now methods why do we have methods why do we have this go method uh, again it's all about reusability so we can go into our yeah. car class mm -hmm. and we can write a method and now we can use that method on every single object of car that we have Right, and which is important when you uh, when we're creating a simulation and we have billions of cars, we want uh, it's you don't want to write that go every single time. And now, because we put this speed here, we can pass that in, and so now we've made it even quicker. We've done a couple things. We've uh, we've um, able to use this to reuse this, but then also abstract it away. Uh, once we're done with go, we don't know. We don't care what's inside anymore. We just want to say uh, go. What kind of speed? Boom, boom, boom. Let's write a little more complex of a method. Yeah. And uh, maybe this will make a little more sense here. So let's mm -hmm. make a new method. Let's make this one return a Boolean, which is a true-false value. Okay. And let's call it, um, let's have some real fun here. Let's make a, a function, and we're going to call our method, we're going to call it uh, is crashed. Okay. And real fast, since these are interview questions, I want to go through all the different words somebody might use for the same thing. Oh, yeah. So I think we use the word method. Mm -hmm. um, you'll hear method, function. I've heard subroutine. Yes. I'm um, trying to think of some of the other ones. Uh, procedure. Uh, these, All these words mean the exact same thing. Um, they've all come from different languages. Procedure? Procedure. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, and then what? Routine. Subroutine. Subroutine or routine. We've heard those before. I've heard that in a lot of movies. Yeah. yeah that's the, Subroutine. That's the very IT <laughs> word that isn't used very often. That came out of, uh, back from like basic. Mm -hmm. They used to have subroutines. Um, they all mean the same thing. They mean a method, which is just a grouping of computer logic. Right. Here's this code. We want to reuse it. Um, we're going to wrap it up in a method. And sometimes that method tells it to do something. Sometimes it just says, "I will, give me some information back." It's very loose. There, it's not like uh, you know, it's it could it does all things, but it wraps it up in this kind of thing. And the other thing is, I, I tell beginners that it's those parentheses that will tell you if it's yeah. A method if you or see not. C sharp, you see parentheses, think method. Think method. So this one takes no parameters, mm -hmm. and it returns back a true false value. Mm -hmm. So let's change this. Every method's going to have every method that returns something has to have a return statement. Right. So I'll so, put a false just to we we'll might change that. Well, let's just this could be one line of code. Just return mm -hmm. uh, speed is greater than 100. Okay. And technically you can say this dot speed if you want to be verbose about it. Right. This telling it that um, in some languages you need that but not this one. Right, everything's assumed to be this in mm -hmm. C sharp, so it doesn't really matter. But I like to be clear: this object's speed is greater than a hundred, then we're going to return true, crashed. Yeah, okay, how about this? And wheels equals zero. Did you broke all the wheels. I mean, there's fast cars. All right, all right. there's fast cars. <laughs> we're really stretching here without okay. any more stuff. But yeah. Okay. So now we can play around with these this new method. We can add it up to our uh, to our little program. Gotcha. There. I'm gonna put that right here. We could wrap it up in an if statement if you wanted to. Now um, I'm trying to think of a C for crash. That's what I'm trying to think of. Um, so now, um, because we're in object world, we want to see if that is crashed. How's that? Pretty good. And our wheels, we never set a value to it, so they are already at zero. Yeah. Um, let me set those real quick. 
four to wheels. Wheels four. Okay. And this might be, we might be too simpling this out, but. Well, how about this? You want to make it a little more complicated? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to line 38. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's throw that into a Boolean value. Okay. Kind of like you, if you wanted to do it that way to start with. Okay. Okay. And then let's say um, if A. Here. Yep. Speed equals zero. Right? So if, if that's come back as true. Okay. If we've crashed, I'm just trying to come up with some reusable logic here. Right. Then we need to set the speed equal to zero. Okay. Or should we just call stop? Oh, we should probably just call stop. Yeah, you're right. Since we already have that logic written. Mm -hmm. Now we can return A. Okay. Which we could probably rename is crashed or something. Or uh, can't call it is crashed with the same everything, but... Let's call it crashed, lowercase. Burning. Burning. Okay. There we go. Okay. So there we go. So uh, basically a method, uh, we, we're getting a little out of it, but, but a method is just a thing that, you know, allows you to bring back information. It allows basically reusable code. So when, they, uh, when they're asking that question, like what is, what is a method that they're wanting to know reusing yeah. code, so... Well, there you go. Thank you for watching that video from F12 Programming. Please remember to like and subscribe. That does so much for us in the ratings. You have no idea. Also, don't forget to comment below. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck coding.